What is going on guys? Creeper Prime here and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. And folks, we are back once again and today we are going to be doing some night hauling. Something I have not done yet on the channel. Or like for you guys today. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of night trucking. Where to? I'm not too sure. But, truth be told, I did do some off-camera work. I completed one extra job, and I did upgrade our truck. We now have a, I think, 410 horsepower motor. Interesting, let me see if it'll let me look. Yeah, I know, okay, yeah, 405 engine. We now have a better transmission as well. We do have a bigger, I guess, uh, chassis, 6x4. And, yeah, mirrors. And I did change the rims and the tires up a little bit. So yeah, that's basically everything that's happened since the uh, last episode. It was raining. And by the way, if it's hard for you guys to see, I can barely see too. What you guys are seeing is what I can see. Like, it is so flipping hard to see right now, it's not even funny. So here's what we need to do. We need to actually select a job. I didn't do that yet. So I turned off Smart Sequential Shifter. I was tired of my truck like skipping gears on me. I'm used to like shifting down. So we're in Ehrenberg. Actually, we're already in Arizona. Nice. So, hmm. We could go even further. We can go down to um, Tuscan. Tuscan. How do you pronounce it? Or we could go back. Or we could go to the state line. Hmm. You know, I kind of want to do. I should not. Let's do this one. We'll carry the used packaging. 38,000 pounds or so. As far as in one hour. Let's hope we can get there. Oh yeah, we're going to get there in time. Alright, let's go ahead and pull out and hopefully not get run over. Because it is pitch black. Like, what you guys can see in game is what I can see. Like, if I go outside my truck, I can't even see my truck. Also, by the way, I have a different horn. I know it probably doesn't sound too different from the last horn, or from the uh, original horn that's on the truck, but it is one of the upgrades I unlocked, so you know what, why not? I was going to add cabin lights all on top, but I'm like, eh, that's kind of overkill, don't really need that many cabin lights, plus what would I ever use them for? But they're just kind of like spotlights in a way, so, yeah. Alright, so we do now have two new mirrors on the front of the vehicle so we can help us with our, I guess backing up our trailer I am going to overshoot this corner alright let's go ahead and downshift get going again see this is why yeah I'm generally pretty good at driving a standard guys I promise I did not hit that you guys saw nothing alright we're good you guys, you guys didn't see anything I totally did not hit the wall all right, we're gonna shift up to ninth gear, and we're gonna roll down the hill, get some speed going, and yeah, we're gonna head toward our pickup. Hopefully, hopefully, where we won't be too late. I'm just gonna gun it here. Like, I'm not even gonna slip, uh, abide by the speed limit. So I want to get there and pick up our freight before the offer expires. We got one hour in game time to get there. Even though we'll be there within 26 minutes or so, I don't want to risk it. We're gonna start flying, boys. This is gonna be fun. Okay, guys, here we go. We're just about there. Oh, also, um, I may or may not got into a really bad collision while I was playing off camera with another truck. Um, he was merging lanes, and like it was like a construction thing. I didn't think he was gonna merge lanes, but he did. Like he merged over, and yeah, I just I drilled him, and yeah, I took about forty three percent damage or so, but you know it's fine. I repaired the truck and everything you guys can see we have currently 0% damage on our truck or tractor whatever you want to call it same thing really and uh yeah so the rain is probably going to make the gameplay a tap pit lag I'm probably going to say this almost any every one of my ATS videos just the gameplay is just so laggy when it rains because like you have to like deal with like all the weather and all that I might turn down the camera thing 
Okay, see, I don't think I have the realistic rain mod enabled. Because I have a realistic rain mod, I'm probably going to turn on in just a second. Just so you guys can see, like, how, like, crazy the mod is. Because it is absolutely ridiculous. Like, right now, I can see perfectly fine. With the realistic rain mod, I can barely see out the front of this thing. Which makes it even cooler. So, let's go ahead and go to the freight market. And so, oh yeah, we had, like, another hour to spare. Wow. Yep, Aaron Burger is under the two, um, Tuscan, I don't know how to pronounce it. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Realistic Rain mod really quick, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. I actually enabled four mods, uh, three of them being Rain, so we have the Realistic Rain mod, which you guys are currently seeing, the Realistic Rain sounds, and Cold Rain, and then I added, or actually I turned on a Realistic Headlights, a mod as well and oh my goodness I cannot see this may have been a mistake uh, oh boy we're gonna have to get our head wet here um okay see this is why I need to be able to run the game at like really high graphics cuz I don't know where my tr okay let's I can even see like around the building all right thank goodness this truck actually for a truck this thing turns really short by the way all right Attach our trailers, get our head back in the cab, that way we're not getting soaked. Alright, so we have about three quarters of a tank, I think we can make it. Let's go ahead and peel out of here. Peel out of this old, uh, this old place here. Uh, I hope I don't get my trailer caught, because I cannot see it. Yeah, this is the realistic rain mod, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to go into uh, third person here, just to see if I can get this trailer out. Oh my goodness, that thunder load. Uh, looks like we're going to have to swing kind of wide. Oh, am I going to clip it? Oh yeah, I clipped it. I definitely clipped it. Okay. Alright, we may have to pull a U-turn up here. Let's do this. Yeah, there's the Walbert right next. Oh, this is charged, actually. Alright. So now we're going to do a 30-point turn. Oh boy, uh, I'm gonna hit that sign, aren't I? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna have to jackknife real quick so I can get this thing turned around. Uh, there was no way I was gonna get out of that without clipping that wall. Ooh, alright, we got it. Sweet, that didn't take actually too long at all. Let's get on the. What the heck was. What am I caught on? Wait. Oh, oh. Wait, um, that's not good. What is my trailer caught on? I can't see. There's something right there I'm unaware of. Uh, let's just try and unjackknife. Okay, there we go. Alright, our trailer was stuck. I was, I was trying to figure out what the heck it was stuck on. Apparently nothing. At least from what I could see. Say, so, let's hit the road. Ugh. That was kind of scary. I legit thought I got my trailer like, caught on something. That, like, I permanently jackknifed it. Which, that is such a pain to fix. Actually, I don't even think you can fix it sometimes. Um, Alright, well, we have the right of way anyway. So, let's go ahead and turn onto the highway here. Let's pull onto the old highway. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that was a turn and a half. Alright, let's go ahead and shift up to 8th eh, gear. Since we're rolling downhill here, we'll pick up speed pretty quick. Alright, it is currently, I think, it says 71 degrees outside. I can't really read my dashboard too well. But yeah. Alright. Let's get on the road, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a long drive. No! It got me! Dang it. Alright. Looks like we got to pull in for a weight check. I hate these. Alright, well, it looks like we gotta pull in for a weight check. I mean, I, I don't weigh like a hundred and something pounds. <laughs> uh. Alright, anyway, uh, we probably weigh like a decent bit. I would assume around like 70,000 pounds, adding the truck and the trailer weight. Plus the cargo we're carrying in it, which is like 30 something thousand pounds. Also, we totally overshot that. Here we go. Alright, what we got? 
Yep, 73,000. I was right. Look at that. Is there somebody behind us? I saw headlights. Yep, there's another truck pulling in. Dude, you can't even see. I've never seen the game this dark at nighttime. Oh my goodness. But I love it, though. It looks so cool. Oh, I can't get over it. Alright, I am short shifting, and by the way, if you do drive a standard, never short shift. But I'm just short shifting because it's kind of a video game, and I'm trying to get up the ge get up through the gears really quick. And this storm will not let up. I've been driving in this, st dude. This storm is ridiculous. Also, this traffic is ridiculous. I'm about to rear in this guy. Oh my goodness! How I did not do that? I do not know. I was legit about to rear in that guy. Yeah, the storm was just will not let up. I, we have traffic as far as the eye can see right now. Like, just behind us. Like, it's just ridiculous. And we still have 148 miles to go. Like, this is just a hassle. Also, I think I may need to stop for gasoline. Or for diesel. When we find the next... Uh, gas station because I am getting below half a tank and I really don't like it when I get below half a tank on anything even in real life It looks like the storm is starting to see to succeed a little bit though. I'm probably turning down my wipers oh, I'll put them on the uh, first setting Yeah, I think I can keep them turned down for a little bit the storm looks like it is starting to succeed just a little bit Which is good for news for me So because I, I can actually see which is good And it is starting to the, you know the morning light is starting to kind of breach through so yeah but dude this I love night trucking in the game though it just makes everything look so beautiful now driving at night in real life eh, I could give or take with that but like in a game I'll drive at night all any day it's just so beautiful especially if you have like really good graphics and stuff like that dude it is just so beautiful and I love it so by the way I got a comment from somebody on one of my old videos asking where the heck track mania was um, okay, so the reason I haven't recorded that yet is because, like, I open the game, right, the game runs and everything, but the screen, like, it'll glitch so bad I can't even see what I'm doing. And so, like, I tried uninstalling it and reinstalling the game, right, oh, look at that phoenix. Uh, anyway, I tried installing and reinstalling the game, it didn't work, I tried restarting my computer, then reinstalling it again. And it still didn't work, so I don't know if something's up with the game or she doesn't like to work with my computer. I don't know, but like I said before, I'm getting a new computer here pretty soon, so hopefully it'll work then. Because I honestly I miss playing Track Mania; it's such a fun game. But yeah, that's that's where Track Mania has been. It just it had it just hasn't been existent right now. I will bring it back though whenever I can. I don't know how long that'll take, but I definitely will start recording Track Mania once again. Also, let me know what you guys th thought about the uh, the intro. Uh, I set up. I actually set up. I think last night, I believe, something like that. And let me know what you guys think about it. Oh my goodness, that is. Oh, that is trippy. Oh, oh my goodness, that is. Oh wow, that hurts my eyes and that is trippy. Now we need to merge here. We got to turn off here. But that tunnel, though. I don't think I've actually been here in a minute. I haven't been here in like at least a minute. So. Ooh. Oh wait, why did I turn off here? No 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 Oh oh what the heck just happened? Oh I I hit the wall. Yep. This this is what happens. I thought I had to turn off here and apparently I just had to keep following the highway. See, this is what happens when you don't pay attention. I can't believe I did that. Now I've got traffic held, held up behind me, like for as far as yeah, I can see right now. Oh my, I feel so stupid for that. I actually do. Alright, well let me get through this little, okay. Alright, let me, let me get through this detour. Jeez, also I think the rain's finally stopped. Oh sweet, look at that, the rain has stopped. Alright. Yeah, let me get through this little detour real quick and back on the right path. I can't believe I did that. Alright, we are back on the right road. Alright, let's follow the GPS right this time. So we turn off right here. Yeah, there's, there's the sign says it. Alright. Let's get on 10 East, apparently. I, th I think. I think we're on, are we on 10 East? I think we are. 
Alright, let's get cruising again. I cannot believe I did that. We could have been so much further along if I had just paid attention. I actually feel stupid for that. I'm not going to lie. Let's go ahead and turn off our headlights. I don't think we need those on right now. Well, I feel like I'm legit going to get a little bit of air. Let me see. Now, I wonder if you can actually get a little bit of air in this game. Like, if you go too fast over the top of a... Uh, over, eh, over the crest of a hill. How cool would that be? That would just be amazing. I'm going to throw my engine brake on here. Which is probably not a good thing to use obs obsess obsessively like this. But I'm going to use it like that anyway. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, we're back on the right uh, road. Let's continue on to our destination. Ooh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. We got some seven miles to go, and we're under uh, three, qu under a quarter of a tank. Ooh, do you guys think we can make it? It's gonna be close. We um, we should be able to make it though. I'm hoping we can. I'm just trying to stick my head out the window here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh wow, that actually hurts my eyes. Ow, that's pretty though. Not gonna lie. Man, this this just makes trucking all the worth it, man. Just like being able to see like the beautiful scenery, going place, going from place to place, traveling around. And granted, it's not for everybody, but I mean, it's really fun, at least in the game. Man, this this just makes it all the worth it. How beautiful everything is, man. Oh man, it's just so worth it, guys. We have put one thousand miles on this truck. We have reached it. Oh man, does it feel so good. Right, that means we have traveled a thousand miles in this truck ever since we bought it. Free roam, jobs, eh, we've done it all. Oh man, it feels so good to have a thousand miles put on this truck. Uh, it really does. And that bus really think he's somebody. Wow. Oh, a bunch of old people in there. You know, it's, it's fine. We can, we can wreck them, right? Kids don't ever do that. All right, so I think this is the exit. Okay, nope, we're not taking this exit. Oh! I almost ran over that car. Whoops. All right. That would have been bad because that car would have gone. Wee! I would have yeeted that car into the on that gr that gray car that passes. Also, I was trying over another one. I, I buddy. Okay. You should know by now not to pass me. Like I'm just a I'm just yeah. Ah, right, here we go, Tuxen. We have finally arrived. Oh, look at all the billboards. I was so tempted to spin that car out. I saw it, and I'm like, I want to spin this car. Like, it's but that was the first thought that came to my mind. You know what? Why not? Oh. Ah, oh, dang, he's a, he's too far ahead of me. All right, well, I needed to merge anyway. That a Prius, man. That's Prius drivers, man. I'm telling you. All right, well, we need to start slowing up here because we got to take this exit. Exit 258 into Tuxen. By the way, if if I'm pronouncing that wrong, somebody in the comments let me know. I probably am. I just don't. I don't know how to pronounce that. Or I don't know how to pronounce that city. So if anybody knows how it's supposed to be pronounced, tell me in the comments down below. That'd be very helpful. I almost ran into that person. Okay, we're we're fine. We're we're fine. We're fine. Let me just downshift into like second or third gear to get going again. I'm gonna have to merge over though, because I have a turn right up there. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm gonna have to let them go by me so I can merge. And. Merge. Let's get over here, because we gotta go up on that. Oh, dude, look at that truck! Oh, man, that looked cool. Oh, yeah, we gotta turn right here, then we gotta merge up over on that bridge, and then go across that way. Wait, can we just go across this way? Nah, we can't. They're on completely opposite sides of the uh, road. That kind of sucks. <clears throat> Alright, let's get going again. Uh, swing it wide, boys. Swing it wide. Here we go. That Look at that turn. That beautiful turn. Didn't even cross the double yellow lines. Look at that. Alright, we're going to keep this thing in fifth gear. I'm gonna, there we go. Oh man, this is a climb and a half. This right here, this flips trailers. This right here will flip a trailer in a heartbeat if you're not careful. Oh my goodness. Oh, that banking though. 
Oh, there's a gas station right there. I probably should have stopped. But, you know, we're like a mile from the drop-off point. We can make it, right? <laughs> right? I hope we can. I only got, like, under... Actually, I probably don't even have a quarter of a tank left. I'm way under a quarter now. But, yeah. And shift up into seventh gear. Ah, Silver State. Three out of 16. Places in Arizona... Is Arizona? No. Yeah, Arizona discovered. I was hoping I was going to go to Vegas, but I didn't really see any jobs from where I was going to Vegas. So without me having to like drive somewhere else and pick one up so, all right looks like we got to turn here and then we gotta go ahead you know like we have to immediately turn right I think I'm gonna downshift here a lot Ooh, hoo -hoo, man this these corners man they're sketchy just gonna turn on a blinker here I'm gonna swing pretty wide here that's how close we are Okay, here we go, here we go. Swing wide, the lag is starting to pick up a little bit. Ooh, I'm gonna clip that, I'm gonna clip that. I'm totally gonna hit that. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to take a different approach at this. Um, let me turn on my hazards here. Alright, let's just do this. Oh, it's caught on that curb. And all right, buddy. Hey, buddy, you you saw nothing, okay? Uh, all right, yeah, it's caught on the curb right there. Uh, let's see if I can pull this. There. Oh. Uh, buddy. Yeah, you you saw nothing, okay? We we have. Did that guy seriously honk his horn at me? I gotta get out of my truck right now and go slap that man. I honestly should. All right, let's. See if we can get the job here. All right, I'm gonna. Why is my blinker on? Turn. Oh, those are my hazards. All right, let's do this. Where do you need it? All right. At least it's not up here at the front. I feel like that'd be an even harder job. All right, let's go toward the back of the warehouse. The old Walbert. Love me a Walbert, you know. The, the, um, the Home Depot version of Walmart. The hand-me-down, you know. This looks cool, though. Look, there's my parking spot right there. Oh, that's easy! Easy parking job. Easy. Watch I say that. I'm going to screw this up so bad. Oh, yeah, that's an easy parking job. Easy. All right, let's go ahead and cut our trailer. And so I watch a lot of people, I like, I watch a lot of ATS videos, and I see so many people back up a trailer, like, it's and it's wrong, and it, it triggers me so bad, I'm like, and I'm like, legitimately yelling, turn your wheels this way, turn your wheels that way. I've backed up so many trailers in my life, like, I kinda, know, I have, like, the gist of what I'm doing, like, I basically know how to back up a trailer. Because I've backed, I've had to back up so many. Like, it's not even funny how many trailers I've had to back up. Not on, like, a semi, but, like, on, like, a regular, like, truck and trailer. I've backed up a trailer many a time. And it's literally no different from this. It's just the trailer and the truck's a lot bigger. That's really the only difference. Uh, okay, I need to... I might have to fix this. This is terrible. Um, all right, I'm going to have to bring the truck this way. We're in the first spot, too. Alright, straighten her out here, and we should be okay, as long as I don't run into the fence. And you want to go slow with it, too. You don't want to rush it, because that will, like, decrease your turning radius. Like, the slower you go, the easier it is to back up. I just repeated the same process I just did, did I not? Nope, alright, we got it. But yeah, like, the faster you go, the wider your turning radius will become, and it's just harder to do it then. Alright, there we go. We got everything set up, parking brake on, truck off, disconnect the trailer, and we have done it. This is a pretty long haul. I wonder how long this episode is. I'll have to check how long I've been recording. But yeah, this has been a Yeah, 264 miles. Not bad. Didn't get paid a lot. I got paid maybe five grand. That should level us up. No, actually, we're still level three. We need three hundred more XP. Which is fine. I mean, that's honestly not too hard to get. I can just grind that away off camera. 300 XP is not that hard. That's like a short job, and I can do that within like maybe 10 minutes. 
So that's probably what I will do. In all honesty, is I'll probably do some off-camera work. I've been recording for like almost 40 minutes. Like it's. Re I'm telling you, man, these jobs they take a while. I would do another job, but I've been recording, like I said, for like over 38 minutes. So that's gonna, you know, I'm trying to call the gameplay right here. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry for the black screen, but <coughs> I hope you guys did enjoy uh, episode. I will probably do two really, really long hauls. So you guys have a lot of content to sit back and watch. Yes, granted, I will have to edit it down a lot. But you know what? You guys are worth it. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time.